Welcome everyone to the review of the Elite Chrono CX Aero water bottle. Uh, I mainly uh, bought this to, tr uh, to take with me when I'm trying to do KOMs. Uh, not really uh, KOMs for uh, like mountain climbs or anything because I cannot climb, I already know that. Uh, but I'm reasonably good at uh, doing like time trial, I guess, of around 10 or 11 kilometers long, sometimes a bit shorter. I'm reasonably good at that. And so here in Korea, where it's extremely hot in the summer, I was always carrying things in my back pockets, you know, drinks and things, trying to trying to stay a little bit aero, but carrying like water and uh, other things in my back pocket, which defeats the whole object of it, really. So I saw this bottle and decided to buy it. And so I wanted to give you my honest review of it. Um, there are the bottle itself when you when you look at it there is so much to like about it you know just uh, just the look of it on the bike is great i think it looks really good on the bike uh, but when you when you dig a bit deeper uh, i have to say that my view of it is quite negative but i think with a few tweaks elite here could be on to a winner but I know already uh, many people have bought this bottle, and me included, but I feel a little bit disappointed with it. So I've seen many people just unwrapping it and showing it, but not many people talking about the bottle itself. Uh, so let's start anyway. Um, aesthetically, it looks great, uh, I think so, on the bike. Uh, these uh, little dimples on it, do they really make a difference? I'm not sure. I saw Hambini recently was uh, talking about the dimples on zip wheels and how they're in the wrong place uh, to make any real difference to the aerodynamics of it. Um, so I wonder with this, could it be the same? You know, d does it need dimples on the front here? Anyway, people could argue about these kind of things. Uh, generally, there are three things about this bottle that I don't like, and I think if they could improve that in the next version, if they if they release a Mark II, then I think it's a, it's a winner. You know, it's a great. It could be a great bottle. Uh, so the first thing is, uh, let me show you. This is when when you want to. So this is the actual cage. When you want to detach it from the bottle, you have to press the bottle, and it pulls away like that, and and maybe you can see already what the problem is. You can see the white foam tape there that I've had to stick in. Because of the tolerances on this bottle, it, it rattles. It rattles so much if you're going over bumpy ground and to the point where it will drive you crazy. And if you're trying to get a KOM or something, you know, it's really going to disturb you, that is. So I did this and it improved it. But the problem is when you put cold liquids into the bottle, it, it contracts even more. So even though it's tight now, uh, when you cool it down with the cold drink, it actually shrinks again. So you still get a little bit of rattle between the cage and the bottle, but now it's much better. Uh, so that's, that's one thing about it uh, that I actually uh, don't like about it. Another thing, let me show you the, the other thing. It is to do with this, uh, or the nozzle, I guess. You have to turn it to undo the cap. So I don't know if you can see in there, but in there, there is like a silicone cap. So there's no actual, you know, cap that you put on the top of it to seal it. And this is my biggest gripe about this bottle. And that is this cap it's yeah it's fine if you're going over smooth roads but here where I'm living uh, very often I'm riding along the river to get onto the road and what happens is as you're going over the bumps the water comes out of it all it needs is a simple cap I think and so uh, the K one of the KOMs that I got recently uh, 
and actually I've lost it already. Um, I had to go along the river to get to it and then you got to go you got to go up a short hill and then onto a really kind of bumpy broken road and there are many speed bumps on there as well and so I think I think it was about 5k long uh, the actual route and it's quite technical as well but very bumpy and broken road and then by the time I got to the end uh, and I really want to drink and I finished it half the bottle's gone and and the bottle is only 500 mil anyway so the bottle is only 500 milliliters that's all it can hold and then by the time you get to the end you probably got about 350 or 300 milliliters left so i found you know in that way that it's a bit pointless you you lose a third of your drink or an extreme situation maybe even half of it by the time you get to the end if you have a really rough surface for example so that's the second thing so we got rattling you know it's rattling in the cage and this silicon cap is not enough it needs something that plugs into it you know that maybe is connected somehow or something that slips over it and that would that would fix it and I don't think that would affect aerodynamics that much so yeah elite if you're listening that's something that I would definitely recommend uh, so those are those are two things the rattling and uh, the actual nozzle itself I, I think the design is flawed and another thing this is maybe a smaller thing but is the size of the hole the size of the hole in the bottle it's very very small and I tell you what the problem is I use these I use the the tabs from uh, what is it SIS science in sport so I, I buy these tabs and they don't actually or they won't fit in they won't fit into the top of the bottle and if you look on the bottom it's it's not flat you cannot you cannot stand the well i guess it's a bit dodgy if you've got a lot of water in there you know trying to stand the thing up um so that's my my third issue is that like how, how do you you know like with a normal bottle you can stand it up you can, it's already full of water you drop the tab in easy just screw the cap on but this um, I think is a little bit difficult to do that um, so you're trying to hold it and then break the tab in your other hand and then drop it in into the water or I guess you could do it before and then fill it up with water you could try that but why does it need to be so small I don't understand it you know make it big enough to put some tabs in there or something uh, to me it doesn't need to be that small so uh, I really really uh, wanted to love this bottle and I love the design of it you know I, I love how it looks I love the look of it and it looks as I say it looks great on the bike and it is convenient I don't need to carry things in my back pockets now because when I'm trying to do fast riding trying to get KOMs obviously I don't want the water bottles and the cages and everything on there you know uh, these things can take away just seconds and, and then you, and then you don't get it so i thought this was a good alternative but to be honest with you i would not recommend it not in this uh, uh setup anyway you know maybe if they release a a second one where they fix some of these problems then it's worth it but at the same time it's very cheap for an aero bottle I think it was only eighteen dollars I paid for it when you look at others uh, for example there was one by X lab I think it was and that was sixty something so there is a huge difference and, uh, and like I say with uh, cheaper things you cannot always get you know the best quality but these are things that I think are fundamental and I'm sure you'd agree they're fundamental <laughs> To being useful isn't it you know you'd want something that's rattling with bikes as it is we've got so many creaks and clicks anyway that we're always trying to fix and then this is just another thing and then 
you know, if your drink is coming out, well, that's that defeats the whole object of having a water bottle. So, yeah, those are the two main ones, I would say anyway. And uh, the, the third one with the tabs is maybe a minor issue. Maybe I'm being a bit nitpicky with that. But uh, as it is, I wouldn't recommend this bottle. That is my honest opinion. Um, I feel a bit disappointed and let down by it. I wish it, I wish it was just that little bit better. And if it was, I would be over the moon with it because I, like I said, I, I love it on the bike. It looks great, and it is um, much more convenient than carrying things in your bottle. So, anyway, I hope this helps you. Uh, I hope it m helps you make a decision. You know, sometimes we see things and we think they're great. We see people's uh, view of them and sometimes they can be differing. But I I did notice that a few people were saying about it rattling, but I thought, oh, I can just put some tape there. But I didn't consider my drink coming out so much uh, on bumpy ground. Like I say, on smooth smooth ground, smooth roads, you'll probably be okay. But how many of us have the you know, the pleasure and the ability to, you know, uh, ride on great roads. There's not many countries like that. I know the UK is not great and, uh, and Korea is not great where I'm living. The roads are definitely not that good. So anyway, uh, as I say, as always, my honest opinion, guys, if you, uh, uh, if you um, are thinking about this bottle, I would, if I was you, I would actually wait until there is a release of something uh, that, you know, like a, um, a CX-2 or something, whatever whatever it is that they release. Or I would look into something that's more expensive um, because you, you, you will feel disappointed and let down by this bottle, I think. Anyway, uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day. Uh, see you next time. Thank you. Bye.